Kia ora everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. I'm Skating Hobo, you can call me Bailey, and today we're going to be beating Gwyn. We're going to make our way through the Kiln of the First Flame and fight the last boss. We've got a few things we want to do before we do that, so don't think we're just going to be rushing to the end, it's going to be a five minute part. But we're going to start by dropping off these Lord Souls, so let's jump in a hole. Alright, here we are back at Firelink Altar. We've placed the Lord Vessel. Let's offer our souls to the Lord Vessel. Do a little cutscene action, and this door opens. So, I'm gonna make my way down and through, mostly to get some chunks, and then I'm gonna homeward bone back. Now, if, I think I said this last part, but if you wanna do the DLC, and or there's things you still wanna do, some bosses you haven't killed, maybe you haven't been to the Painted World or anything like that. Come through here, but don't go through the boss gate. The moment you step into that boss gate and fight the last boss, if you win, the game will end and it'll move on to New Game Plus. There's no option, there's no nothing. If you kill him, that's that. Alright, so in here we have a few black knights. What we really want to do is just, I mean, we want to lure them out somewhere where we can backstab them. Come on. If you're good at parrying, this area is really no worry, especially the sword guys. You can just parry them to death, and they are no real threat. Um, it's the same with Gwyn. If you can parry, the boss fight is, is borderline a joke. But yeah, these guys will drop Titanite chunks. And the further down you go, the more colours they drop. I think there's one that drops a white, one that drops a red, blue. And they all drop regular chunks as well. So super useful if you've got armour or weapons you want to reinforce still. Ooh. That was my bad. I did not think he would hit with this fl flurry. My goodness. Okay. You just want to take your time, breathe in, breathe out, and just backstab these guys as much as you can. Get your sword, stick it in their bum, pick up their chunks. Okay, so I was wrong, they don't drop regular chunks. I guess the first guy will, and then they make their way down and through each colour. We have a little sip. This guy over here, you don't really want to fight him on these pillars, but he does get aggravated pretty easily. Like he's got a really good aggro reach, so... Run out and get him to get angry. There we go. And I like to just cut him back. Play it nice and safe. Might even see if I can throw a spear at him. Yeah, take that. 390 damage. Stick that sword in his bum. And do it again. Yes, yeah, so if you can get the timing right, they don't even get a chance to get up or anything at the sword. So yeah, if you go through and farm them all, they'll drop the sword, the shield, the great sword, the halberd, and the great axe, which you need all for the platinum. So you'll want to make sure you come through here, maybe put on your gold serpent ring and all that stuff. If there's any black knight items you want, like if you want to do a run with the halberd but you weren't lucky enough to get it, just pick it up here and do it in New Game Plus. It's, it's not much harder, the bosses have a little bit more health, I think they do a little bit more damage, but by that point you should have some pretty strong armor, some pretty good weaponry. And um, yeah, if you manage to keep Celia safe and sane, he will appear here. You can bring him into the final fight, get another Sunlight Medal. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't really need him right now though, we're just going to kill these last two knights, see if we can get the Great Axe and the Halberd, and then we'll bone back out of here, because we've got a couple things we want to do. fall off because I would like his uh, axe if he's going to drop it, you know, for my, my trophy collection. There we go. And I think he also dropped some white chunk. Yeah, didn't drop us the axe, but that's okay. We'll be coming back through here. We might get it then. And here we have the guy with the halberd. 
This is easily the best weapon in the game. If you want to play on pretty much easy mode, you play with this weapon and you use sorceries. But um, yeah. Blue chunk. I don't think there's anything out and around here. I'll just have a quick nosy. But that is the boss fight. I don't think there's anything. So let's just bone home and finish a few things that we want to do. Let's put that black knife sword that we got away. Keep our inventory nice and clean. And let's walk to the... Go to the Dark Moon Tomb, I guess. Now, nah, I'll start at the parish. Start of the parish, makes sense. It's one of our earlier blacksmiths. So yeah, at this point in time, if there's anything you really want to do, or if there's any things that you have left on your like checklist, get them done. That's what I'm going to do right now. Oh yeah, and he'll want the dark ember that we got at the painted world fully. Forgot about that. We need to give it to him to make a cult weaponry. Um, not too bothered by that right now. We shall. We don't have enough to reinforce anything. And our arm is the same. But that's fine. We want to come in here and purchase 999 wooden arrows for just shy of 3,000 souls. So, you can do this at the start of the game. And it makes everything super duper easy mode. We didn't do it because, you know, I wanted to show you how you can get through the game roughly level 83 like you can easily beat this around the level 80s and you just got to take your time kind of know what you're up to but if you don't want a big challenge or you don't want to spend time grinding or any of that you grab a soul that you want to duplicate you put it in your second slot just below your estus you go to your arrows you drop and then cancel and something about that makes the inputs lock in that that was your last input so then using the bumper or r1 and l1 you go over to the options menu, down to brightness, and you're going to try and press X and R1 at pretty much the same time, with a small interval between each other. It'll bring up this menu where the brightness is being changed, but the items are also behind. So you want to go down to OK, down to quit game, and then it'll ask you how many items you want to use. You can use 999, so you do that, and skadoosh, we have, what's that, like 20 million? souls. I'm not going to be using that to power level or to do anything crazy, but I will buy pretty much everything so that I don't have to worry about buying anything in the New Game Plus cycle. Um, whether you consider it cheating or whatever, I, I'm not bothered. Um, you don't have to do it, obviously. It's entirely up to you. It's just a little glitch in the game. So yeah, we'll make our way through a couple of blacksmiths we're going to upgrade our little things that we got buy all the items next we'll go to we'll go to the black to the um, merchant in here and buy his stuff but yeah so I'm going to make my way through all these areas purchase the items that we have not so that basically in the next game cycle we don't have to worry about collecting any of the rings or the miracles or the spells or any of that kind of stuff that's out there so we're gonna go up and through here shouldn't be too hard we've dealt with these clowns before yeah 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 come on I did put my ring of sacrifice on uh, purely for safety purposes in case I maybe have a stumble or I don't know, get a bit cocky and run into a bunch of enemies that I just shouldn't be trying to fight. But hey. Safety first. It's like it's like wearing a helmet. Alright, we'll take out this guy. I guess we can kick him as well. And we'll hop in the elevator. Shields up in case that thing tries to hit us. And we'll make our way to the merchant up here. He is one of the more annoying merchants to get to, so I like to do him as early as possible. Because one of the things I think you should do, especially in your first new game cycle before you end the game, is go through, buy pretty much everything you can, all the rings, all the items, get 99 of everything if you want to. You don't need to, but 
you know, it's not not helpful to have it. <coughs> so we'll just top up all our things of this, get all the shards. If there's any weapons you want, grab them. Uh, any armors you want, grab them. All that kind of jazz. I'm just gonna buy it all, get my inventory nice and complete, you know. Oh, I didn't need a second helm, I guess I should have looked. Okay, and we'll grab these rings. Yeah, cool. Try and make something of yourself. But you have no idea. Let me just drop that duplicate boulder helm that I got. Um, boulder helm, yeah. Drop. And then, let's commit some sins. Cool. So, yeah, if you want, once you've bought everything from them, feel free to kill them. Some of them drop stuff, some of them don't. I don't remember, so I'm probably going to kill them all. But as you saw, we just used our last bone, so let's use that to go to another merchant. Let's walk back to Firelink. here so we can return here. Let's reinforce our fire which you can tell now that we've got so many green shards. We need to go to Vamos to increase it. And while we're at it, let's just get our longbow up. And this grass crease shield, because we use it. Upgrading shields doesn't really do much. It gives you slight stability and more strike with the shield. So yeah, that's something. And let's put our all the shield away. Lovely. So, next we will talk to this little man. And then he thanks us for telling him about Logan. And then we shall purchase all of his things, even though we won't probably use any magics. I just, you know, like I said, I want to make sure I got it all. We've got catalysts, so we don't need that. And then he is done. So, we're done with him. <laughs> Grab his humanity, he has Hush and a Slumbering Dragon Crest ring. Cool. If you've already got the Slumbering Dragon Crest, that's whatever. Um, what's my decision? Nah. Ah. Oh, was he asking about the pyromancy that I've got? Yeah, so if he asks you about the pyromancy you've got, tell him you won't tell him where you got it from. Uh, or else he'll go down to Blight Town and become hollowed. Which, I mean, I guess doesn't really matter at this point, because we're going to kill him. So... Yeah, sorry, bud. I like this guy. I think he's cool. Yeah, sorry, man. Do you drop anything? You don't. See, when they don't drop anything, I feel a bit bad. Not going to lie. Hey, buddy. I think you know what's coming. Yeah, I'm just going to clear you out of all your goods. Yeah, we'll grab all your humanities, grab your miracles. Um, I don't really care for any of that. I'll make sure I've got all the armors that you have. Ah, oh, patches. Good stuff, eh? Yeah, well, I'll see you next game cycle, bud. Don't hit the wall, it's embarrassing. Oh, please don't kill me. Sorry, bud. Drink our sunny day. Grab our humanity. Drops four of them. They're pretty useful. Alright, so, you know, our fire link's looking a little hollow right now. And not in the lost its mind kind of way. In the lack of people. But that's what it is. Let us walk to the catacombs and upgrade our fire Uchigatana. Because we won't really be using it this game cycle, so I, I you know, just want to max it out as much as I can here. And then we shall modify to be Chaos. Uh, what do you sell, bud? You sell Homeward Bones, super useful. Titan Knight Shards, we'll grab some more of them. And we've already got the arrows. It's... How many red chunks we got? I don't think it's enough. I think we're gonna be one shy. Oh no, cool. 
There we go, our Chaos Uchikatana is plus five. We really just need the two white chunks because we've got the slab, but we can grab them maybe on the way down through the kiln. Maybe not. Either way, it's time to say goodbye to our 144p voice friend. Yeah, good fight. That gives you the Hammer of Amos and the Royal Helm. And unfortunately, it has cut off your blacksmiths from this area. Now we shall warp to... We need to go to the Dark Moon Tomb. <coughs> Excuse me. While we're here, let us... What is my weight limit at? Because I won't put any more in my levels with the souls. So 84, I think that's 21. Let me see what we can wear, because I've got the Elite Knight and the Black Leather, but now we've got some, you know, we've got some fashion to choose from. I want to stay around the 20 mark. Maybe I'll start by taking these off though. Hmm, maybe. No. We could go stone. The waist cloth of the champions. How's that look? That's not bad. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Does kind of give those dress vibes though. go silver or black knight. Black knight leggings look very cool. And then we just need something to keep us to 21, so it'd have to be like 1.3. We could do the sorcerer. Let's see what else. Traveling is lower. And crimson is lower. Gold hemmed is an option. Painting guardian gloves. No, I think, I think that looks all right. All right, let us reinforce the armor that we have on. So it has a red dot, and I can upgrade it. I shall. But it doesn't look promising. Get our dingy robe up. Oh, I'll save some chunks just in case. The chunks are a little bit rarer to come by. This is just twinkling, and as I'm not really upgrading any weapons that require it, I'll just dump it all in the legs. Um, what am I missing? I guess the gloves can't, and the... Hmm. If the gloves can't, I kind of want something that can be upgraded. I know the crimson can. Yeah, that looks kind of cool with the hot hands. Let me reinforce that. I think that's twinkling as well. Which is no biggie, we're gonna grab a bunch up from our giant friend here, but we'll put it up what we can. And see what it comes to comparatively. It's still not as good, but it looks cool and it can be upgraded, so yeah. And we still fast roll. Alright, so up through the darkness. Make our way to the giant blacksmith who yeah, will buy everything and unfortunately kill. I don't like killing the blacksmiths, you know, they're like pretty, I don't mind killing the skeleton one because he's kind of a dick, but the rest of them, they're just like lovely and here to help, it's like the, the pyromancer feels bad to kill, like he's just a nice guy, he just doesn't want you, anything bad to happen to you, he wanted to help you out, and then we just kind of slayed him for nothing, but it is what it is, you know, but yeah, I wanted to keep the great hero soul for duplicating because I knew it would give me around 20 million souls and that's just beyond more than enough what we'll ever need. We will be ditching them before the new game cycle. I'll jump off a cliff or something. Alright. Oh yeah, he wants the crystal ember. We can give him that. Then we shall purchase all of his goodies. Um, I don't need to worry about buying them and banking them. We'll grab these arrows that we'll never use, lightning bolts, and the giant scent. Awesome. 
Let us reinforce. Nope, nothing to really do. Armor. So we have the crimson gloves to get back up. And then I guess where is my dingy robes? There they are. I may as well use my chunks here. I mean, using the slab seems kind of ridiculous, but hey, it's whatever. Plus 10 poncho, I love it. Just top up our titanites. And then, yeah. I'm really sorry about this, man. I like you. Sorry, bro. 99. Oh, man. Blacksmith's giant hammer. Oh, need to re-equip my bones. Let us also put man, green blossoms and let us bone out of here. Alright, so I think that's it for the NPCs. There's one more I want to go visit to buy stuff off, but there's no point in killing her, I know that much. Oh, I am forgetting two very important people. My apologies to them. <coughs> but it's alright, we want to be at Firelink before we go there anyway. So let us... The Daughter of Chaos. How could I forget? Should have come here first, to be honest. But that is okay. Alrighty, oh, so... Here we have the lovely... Igni. By his servant roster... Nothing really much to do with him right now, but let us take off our crown of dusk and come out here. I don't want the bow. Oh, we may as well chuck in the large arrows and some standard arrows, I guess, but I'll take the bow off. Alright, so, have a little kip. Punch one of these guys. And then you want them to grab attack. You like that. You might need to stand on like an even surface with them because sometimes on the downslope they miss. You want this worm to hit you. Then if you're lucky, because it can sometimes take a few goes, you'll get an itchy head. Um, once you've got an itchy head, you just want to kind of go to the bonfire and wait. We can, um, we can go see the Chaos Pyromancy Witch by her stuff. Although we will want to go there after we talk to Igni too, so it's kind of... There we go, we'll get another get another jab. Get out, get out shot. I'll just rest here to reset his aggression. And let's see, does my head itch? It is a bit of a tedious thing to try to proc, because if it doesn't, you almost like don't know. You kind of just get stuck waiting and wishing, like a Jack Johnson or something. So yeah, sometimes they'll just do like an angle swipe, but they won't grab you, and it's very annoying. But yeah, you want that worm to really just impregnate your face. Let's see if they want to. Come on, itchy head. Come on, itchy head. Come on, itchy head. Bruh. Okay. We'll try it still. I think it's just a luck based thing. I don't know if there's much I can do to kind of increase my odds. So. Just gotta kind of wait. Hope. Please be itchy. Itch your freaking head. Ay ay ay. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. So now that he's got an itchy head, you gotta wait. I think it's like a five-minute wait. Um, I might honestly just cut that part down so that you guys don't have to deal with it 
because I don't know what else I could do. That's, that's probably why I should have come here first, because then you can at least bonfire away, do some other stuff, and then once the egg happens, you get that. But, you know, we human, we make mistakes. <coughs> Alright, I shall remember that it's about 25 minutes in, and I'll cut it to just before what's meant to happen happens. So, uh, yeah, see you very soon. So that was about three minutes, give or take, maybe two and a half. But yeah, so once your head is itchy, you've been impregnated by a worm, and then you get egg head. What this does is, whenever you kill anything, the egg will eat half of the gained souls. So if you kill something with 100 souls, you only get 50, because the egg takes half. So you don't really want it, unless you're doing some kind of like challenge run or something, I guess. It'll give you the cure, you want to use that. We found one of those earlier, I can't remember where, but we got it. The lizard things on the trees with two heads and the uh, dark woods, they drop them. So we just put our crown back on. And now that we've done that, we can talk to him. And we can buy pyromancies. And also the egg. Uh, Verifuge. Vermifuge? I don't know. Oh, I guess you gotta leave. Talk to him again. Maybe you gotta be in the Covenant? Maybe we have to be in the Covenant. Let's just check. Because I think leaving the Covenant, he won't teach us pyromancies, but if we're in the Covenant and we've had Egghead, he'll ask us if we have any interest in pyromancy, which you want to say yes to. No? Maybe you have to do it when you're in the Covenant? Maybe I, I messed it up. Hmm. I don't want to get egg hit again. So, that's a bummer. But yeah, I think you have to be in the Covenant, which is probably my mistake there. But if you're in the Covenant and then get egg hit, um, he can cure it. And then he'll say he off he appreciates your dedication, so he can teach you some pyromancies. I think he has a rare pyromancy, so if you want the platinum, you might need to do that. Uh, he'll also give you another pyromancy flame, which if you want like multiple red titanite slabs, you'll need. Um, I guess because I don't need any more slabs because my chaos Uchi katana is already plus five, which is like a plus fifteen total fire enchantment. We don't really need any more. So I don't really need to worry about getting a second glove and ascending it to trade with the crow. But if you get a pyromancy glove and ascend it, so I'd get it to plus 15 and then ascend it, then go trade it with the crows, they'll give you a titanite slab. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's head out here. I really should have probably joined the forest hunters so I could buy more from Sheba of the East, because I think he isn't there if you're not in the Forest Hunters Guild. Yeah, I can't see him. But that's whatever. We don't need his stuff, he just sells. I mean, we saw what he sold. It's Uchi Katanas and a bunch of, like, monster weapon drops, which is cool, but nothing really worth going crazy over. Alright, because we killed the Bed of Chaos, she'll give you Fire Tempest. And then let's just purchase all her fire, uh, pyromancies, excuse me. Let us ascend our flame, and we're going to increase it to plus five as well, because we're not going to trade it. But yeah, so if you don't increase it, you can trade it. If you increase it, the crows don't want it. So now we've got everything from here, let us leave. But yeah, so you need to talk to her after beating the bit of chaos to get that Fire Tempest Pyromancy, so make sure you do that for the Platinum as well. Now, let me just quick think. Back at Firelink... No, I think we go to the Parish. Oh, excuse me, I completely forgot. Well, we can go back there real quick after this. We have to commit one more Great Sin. 
Forgive me, my friend. Do we have any more to buy from you? Nah, no, we're good. Oh, we may as well get that to plus six. We don't want it raw or divine or a cult or any of that stuff. Yeah, we'll increase our longbow really quick. Even though we'll probably not use it much. You know, it's good to just have that extra bit of chunk range damage. I don't think I left... Oh, I left two chunks. Beautiful. Longbow can go up, grass crest can go up. We can't go anymore, but... And the next game cycle, those will already be at plus 11, so when we get the armor, uh, the weapon upgrade thing for the bonfire, we can do it ourselves anywhere. We don't need to bother getting all the embers. So you really want to make sure you modify your equipment to at least the base version. Like if you want a cult plus 5, you don't have to grind all of it this playthrough, but you definitely want to get the occult weapon so that you can just do it on the fly. Alright, so you have to go through and get all the embers again, and, or at least most of the embers again. And that's not that fun. Now, I really need you to forgive me for this one. I know he's daddy. I know he's the man, but we need his hammer. Oh, he drop kicked me like a bitch. Yeah, man, that is strong. Bro, I didn't even attack because of the text talking. That's some bullshit. That's OP. I am sorry. Damn backstabber, literally. And we get the blacksmith hammer. A pretty strong weapon, admittedly, so... Something to really have fun with in the new game. We need to go to the Daughter of Chaos. I completely forgot that we have to get one more Firekeeper Soul. And that's this one. Now that does piss off Igni as well. So you need to be careful because his worms will drop. And they can be really annoying. I don't know what he drops, but uh, we've already got 99 of it. So whatever. This is her pit where her giant bootay was. And we cannot use the bonfire, so let's just bone back to the last one. Worst case is there's the one of the demon ruins, but we're here. Let us walk to Firelink Shrine. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the final merchant to go see, and then we shall be making our way to the wards that end. I just want to say again a big thank you to anyone who's watched from the start to the finish. If you've been here for my first ever like playthrough, walkthrough, anything, whatever this is, my first content that really has like my voice in it, thank you. It, it really does mean a lot. And um, you know, if you could just leave a comment down below saying, you know, I was here or whatever to signify, because I'm going to be pushing this hard. I'm going to be trying to. I don't know, make it on YouTube, make something of myself on this platform. And uh, if you have been here, watching it at the start, even I was here so that, you know, in 10 years, 20 years, whatever, people can know that you were an OG. You were a fan of Skating Hobo, you were a homie of Skating Hobo well before it, I blew up, because uh, that's my goal. I'm, I'm going to be honest, that's what I'm trying to do here. If you can share it, tell your friends, tell your family, tell anyone who you think might enjoy a chill, uh, relaxed time through this adventure, Oh, I got plans for what I want to do next. Uh, I'm not going to say because, I mean, you know, most of the people who find this will probably already have seen what's coming next because it'll probably already be out, but whatever. I'm going to keep a secret for anyone who is watching, any of the true OGs. It's going to be a big surprise-ish. Anyway, let's stock up on our moss, throwing knives, pieces of poo, resins, bones. Prism stones, we're good. Purging stones, fire, poison arrows. Beautiful. There's no point in killing her, she drops nothing. So we're just gonna bone out of here. Uh, I think that would take me to Parish accidentally, but that's whatever. We can just go back to Firelink our own way. But yeah, if you've been here from the start, or if you just randomly tuned in like a month later, a year later, you know, thank you. Drop a comment saying when you've been here, how you found it, something like that. I don't know. If you're just one of the homies, just say like, yo, we've been in the fake skate community for years. Or uh, if you're real life homies, like, yeah, man, we, I, I know you, bruh. I've been watching this, I enjoy it. Say something. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom. 
Anyway, let's clean our inventory of these weapons that we had procured along the way. Like the crescent axe from patches, the hammers. Um, got our longbow, we'll keep that with us. Keep our pyromancy flame. I'll keep that for trading next time. I'm not going to go do trades with the crows. Cool. That is us. We are ready. So, let me take off this and just put on the steel protection. We are going to make our way towards the final fight. Let's ditch these cheated and illegal glitched souls. Yeah, we're ditching 13 souls, but that's whatever. I don't care. And to really solidify that 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 ain't coming with us. I don't even know where the bloodstain is. It's over there. Goodbye, bloodstain. So there we go. You can you can know in good confidence that I really only gave myself money. Cover that in zero souls. Let's pop a humanity. Here is our final stats going into the last of the game. Level 83, we got 34 vitality, 14 attunement, 30 endurance, 15 strength, 20 dexterity, 13 resistance, 10 intelligence, 30 faith, and 1 humanity, which we're about to spend on becoming a human. Not a soul to our name, not a worry in our bones. What do you guys reckon? First try? Maybe? Maybe not? I'm not using any- I mean the shield is upgraded, granted, and my armor is upgraded. But, you know, it's still only 280 defense. I'm pretty sure Gwyn's gonna maybe one two shot me if I get unlucky. But, I don't know. I like my odds. I think I can do this. The biggest part of anything is believing. You gotta believe in yourself first and foremost. Kiln of the first flame. Here we are again. Well, let's treat it like it's the first time. It's a beautiful, beautiful zone. Even though it's all burnt and ashed out, and there's just these rotten iron wastes and big stone decays. Oh, we missed. Right in your bum. And again, sir. Got the Black Knight Sword again. We're just gonna drop that. We don't need multiples. You can't dual wield very well in this game, and that is a big bummer. But they added power stancing in Dark Souls 2, which is very cool. Hey, bud. Not quite, buddy. Strong boy. Big bones. Just a red chunk. Nothing crazy. Make our way over these bridges. Ah, uh, you know what? Now that I've got arrows. I think I can actually leave that equipped because I think I'll fat roll with it. Let me check. Oh no, 20 and a half. That's all good. Alright, well we missed, so let's try that again. There we go. I don't think it even does damage, like it's too far to register the arrow hitting the model, but the model does register that it was hit and from where, so it will chase. It's a very interesting thing. Push you off. I don't need the sword. I don't care about the shield. And I'm pretty sure we'll get whatever you drop anyway. No, nope, just 2,000 souls. Now, for his own goddamn safety, I'm gonna come back up for Celia. I'll kill these two first. I don't want him doing no acrobatics. I don't want him wasting no attunements or no spell slots. None of that. What if he rolls off into this? I feel awful. 
I gotta let him ignite his fire, find his son. Jesus, yeah, what the hell? Yeah, do you wanna just jump back again? Swing. Okay, we get it. You fuck. You know, I don't think. No, I didn't use my firekeeper soul. Hmm. I don't need it to be plus six, but you know, if you're not dumb like me, make sure you use the items you go collect. Let's have a little look. Oops. <gasps> you know, I was thinking to myself, like, don't don't open the menu and run up this precarious little staircase. <laughs> don't don't be a dickhead like that. You know what? <laughs> I still did it. <laughs> oh no. Hey, it's fine. It was that was all on purpose. It was intentional. I wanted to Oh yeah, she talks more when you've yeah, 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 whatever. I wanted to come here and get my Estus to plus six. That's the true purpose. That's what really just happened. <laughs> I can't believe that. Pop another humanity. Humanitize. And do that again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I didn't think this part would be that long. But we're, we're coming close on 45. I suppose I'm trimming out a couple minutes. But, um, wow. That is just... That's awesome. Alrighty. Jump down here. Skip that. We'll rest here so that we make sure if we have another accident, we come back here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alrighty. We can totally, if we want, just run past all these Black Knights. Um... I'm not gonna, you know, if nothing else, I'll get these free chunks, you know, that might be useful in my new game cycle. I can use the raw chunks for my shield or my longbow. I can use the colored chunks to make extra fire, lightning, or divine weapons or whatever. Like, I think I only needed a few to get my uh, divine energy guitar to plus five, I mean plus ten, so at this rate, maybe I got enough. Oh, nice shield. Or maybe I'll get enough. But hey, another chunk. It ain't hurt nobody. I just can't believe that I ran off. Like, I, I, I expected myself to maybe die, you know, get them arrogance jitters out of the way. But, um, not to just walking off because I was looking at my menu trying to count my blue chunks, which I didn't even do. Five. It's probably a bit risky doing it there, but, you know, I thought it would be funny to do it again. You got a great sword for me this time, bud? Nah, just more red chunks. I ain't complaining. I wouldn't even know what to do with the great sword. It'd be too heavy for my little arms. Radio. Let's get this guy to get mad. Nice. Some lightning at you, sir. Oh no. You got hit a couple times there, bud. Oh, so did I. Okay. What are we what are we doing? Get out of here. Oh, what'd you jump for me? A regular junk. Oh, that's swell, isn't it? If we somehow frick this up, I can make my shield stronger. More stability, less damage per block. Alright. I don't want to have to run back up, so I'm just going to grab Solaire now. Don't go falling off the bridge like I did Solaire. I'll get pissed. 
We're not bringing him because Gwyn's a hard fight. Gwyn is ridiculously quite easy. Um, but I think it kind of makes sense. Like, he's that burnt ashes of the man he used to be. And I like that. So we're gonna throw one a bit late. White chunk, very useful. Pretty much the only chunk along this path that is useful. Alright, we'll retrieve this. You missed bro. Give you a stab and a kick. So there's the only NPC there. I don't know where he is. Like, I don't know if I can find him and kill him after. I don't know if he's back in the ruins of Isolith or he's by the sunlight altar or whatever, but. If I'm honest, I just kill him in the next new game cycle to get that armor, weapon, and shield. But here we go. The final fight. If I could, I'd edit in some crazy music, but I just don't have the capabilities. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this. Nice. Plin, plin, plong. See, I can't parry. I can parry this guy. But yeah, as you can see, he's a shell of the man he used to be, or at least is made out to be. He's very staggerable, he's got a big fire sword and that's really about it. That's his whole shtick. He hits pretty hard, but I guess we can take it. He's got his dash, he moves real quick. He's like a real JRPG of a fight. That grab move, I think he takes your souls. We don't have any on us, bro. We don't care. So it's a drop kick. And that is that. That is Dark Souls Remastered. Celia, you can relax, bud. It's over. We found the sun. Thank you for the sunlight medal. Thank you for all you do. One final time for Celia. I guess we can't do any emotes. Ah, oh, no, there we go. For Salir. Now, you get two options here. You can walk out the door, start the Age of Dark, ending the Age of Fire. Or, you can light the bonfire, be continuing the Age of Fire and becoming the Kiln of the Fist Flame. Uh, I'm going to do this one for no real apparent reason other than it's right here. himself, the Ghost Rider. There we have it. Dark Souls Remastered. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I've had a great time. I hope you'd enjoyed your time. I'm gonna skip those credits. You know, people made the game, watch the credits on YouTube. And what's this? A familiar cutscene. We are back in the Northern Undead Asylum. That's how the game ends, that's how the game starts. Your dungeon cell key gets dropped back down to you and you are back here because the cycle has continued. Though you get to keep your items and souls, it's just back like that. New Game Plus throws you right in the deep end. And there you have it. Um, yeah, like I said, thank you so much if you've watched the whole way through. Thank you if you've just watched part way throughs, if you've just joined in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'm more than happy to do uh, challenge runs or different build styles or tutorials. So if anyone has any questions, drop them down below. You can DM me on Instagram, any of that kind of good stuff. I'm, I'm chilling. But yeah, I've had a real good time. I've enjoyed going through this. These are our stats at the end. Those were our stats at the start of the fight. Yeah. Feels good, man. Feels real freaking good. Honestly, if you haven't played this game, if you've been thinking about this game, pick it up, give it a go. It's fun. It goes on sale pretty often. And, yeah, I, I would recommend playing it with a controller, not a keyboard and a mouse. 
it's a good time. But yeah, I've been Skating Hobo. I hope you've had a great time. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Kakite.